We're going to start with the outside of the ear here. I don't know him and with ear infections, some dogs are really mean. So I am not taking chances and I went ahead and just muzzled him because when I flipped open his ear, he kind of gave me a look and so ear infections, if it is an ear infection, it's definitely a problem in here right now. I'm not a veterinarian, so she, she, could have, she can see her veterinary. I'm actually going to save all of this stuff for her so she can take it to the vet with her if she chooses to do so. But I'm going to start with the external of the ear here, the flap. And because his ear is so big, it's like the size of my hand, you might have to adjust this. You might, uh, I, it's so big, it's so big, wide, long, it's taking, I'm using the entire cotton ball at this rate. I'm using the Malacetic Autic as my cleaner right now. It's more of an expensive cleaner, but I know it's going to crack down on a little bit of that bacteria because it's, it just has this awful smell. Go over here, sweetie. Come over, Choco. Come over here, Choco. Thank you. I'm working my way down now. Remember, there's a bunch of lips in here, and this has got that maroon color I always talk about, right? The maroon color is usually from water getting in the ears, bathing at home, spraying with the head, not covering the ears. You can always put a couple of cotton balls in there to help the water kind of not get in there. Water can always get in the ears if, you, if uh, you're not careful with, during bathing, rain. Some dogs dip their whole head. Some dogs dip their whole head in their water bowl. So if you have that scenario, they have, they have some water bowls that are, are designed to prevent that, okay? This is very smelly. I had to stop and give a cameraman a chance to go get a mask. He had his t-shirt over his nose. I mean, it is really, really smelly stuff. And the pet parents, I said, did you know he had an ear problem? And they said no. So they had no idea this was happening. And the pet parent dad walks him every day. He brushes him every day. So who knew that they had no idea this was cooking in the ear? Oh, you have to look over here. I'm glad you're not really mad like me. It's juicy, that's okay. The Malacita Audit is awesome. It's, you can use it as a flushing agent, but I would not flush the ears until all this stuff has been removed. At least what you can get your fingers on. We want this ear canal to look clean. This exterior hair is not a big deal. What's a big deal is the interior hair. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one hemostat. Come on, bud. Come on, Choco. Because I can't get my finger in here. Okay, so there, I'm not going to dig down. I'm just going to come back on this lip backwards. Look at all that. My finger can't get right there. I'm going to go forward right there after I get his hair out of my way. <laughs> go forward right there. Does that feel good? There's another lip right here. Let's get, the, let's get a new cotton ball going here. Okay. Whew. This is a lot. I'm so sorry. I'm getting underneath those little lips right there. And see how big his ear is compared to some of those other dogs we do? He's moving quite a bit. He's working me here. So I'm going to go up under here. There's a little, oh yeah, we got to get that little hole right there, right there. Look at all that. It's just right here. You can see it in the ear here.
Wow, I've gone through a lot of cotton balls, and we're only done with, we're only, like, almost done with the first year. It doesn't smell that bad no more. No, that Melisiotic is awesome. If you need some, pick it up. Shop with me at myfavoritegroomer.com. For me, I just, I like to sell and use what works. I know that you could shop somewhere else, but you could support me when you shop with me. I appreciate it. I promise you I'm not trying to be rough, but I do need to get the, the stuff out and I do need to get it done. And my finger doesn't fit in there. Okay. His ears are so big. I mean, even this, this pad, this little ear pad or face makeup pad will fit in there too. There's just some skin flaps that you need to get around in there. And then what we'll do is we'll do him a favor and, and flush it as well. Flush the ear at the total end because he'll shake his head a lot. Wow, look at all that. Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time, but I don't wanna do it too much. I do want to get it as clean as I can in my care. Good boy, Choco. Let me get all that stuff out of there. I'm just letting the cotton ball kind of move and work. I'm not digging down, like down deep. I'm just right here where I can see. Whew, so much. Okay, okay. And what I would do if this is my dog, I would now put cotton balls in his ears every time I bathe them. And I would, I would be cleaning and flushing his ears, in my opinion, if it were my dog, I would clean and flush for two times a day. Okay, so we're gonna go to the next ear now. This is the clean ear now. Everything down the, down the ear canal here, down in there, is uh, there's no hair no more. This other stuff, it's not a big deal. But down in the ear canal, we want the hair out. All right, first we're gonna do what we did last time. I like to start on the ear flap. It kinda gets everything clean for me and I work my way down into the ear itself. He is really, really hanging in there. For this stuff really good boy really really good boy I knew it was gonna take 30 40 minutes just to ears alone just to clean the ears clean right well that's not even clean anymore He's shaking definitely is bothering him. Okay, let's go back to the here. Let me see, will he stay up here if I took this down? Okay, still on the ear flap here. You can get the Malice Audit at myfavoritegroomer.com under the ear section. I personally like to smell the the ear flushing fluid. I love it. But it doesn't everyone doesn't love it. It's got a sweet clean smell. Like you know it's something happening. You know that you know we got clean. You know you know that you're flushed your dog's ears. And I forgot to pull the ear hair. We gotta pull the ear hair out, so as soon as I get back in here. I don't want it all wet. We'll pull it out dry. That's easier to get out. If you have hemostats, you don't really need ear powder, so it's not a big deal. If you want to use your fingers, you're going to need ear powder, okay?
Can you flip that? Appreciate it. No, all the way, because it might hit, it might, just random might come back on me. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> Hold on, buddy. Hold on, buddy. Look over here. I'm so sorry. Hold on, Choco. Hold on, Choco. I'm gonna use hold his collar and hold his ear open. You holding your breath? I know, right? What am I doing in there? Lighting is horrible. I like to do little by little. I'm just gonna do what I can with my finger and then I'm gonna come back with hemostats. All right, let's see what we got here. Choco, come here. this ear up here and go under that flap right there. I'm going to come back back here, come to swing to the back. Forward swipe. Up under this crevice right there. Customer service, are they as smelly as the other ones? Mm. Really good. All right, let's see here. Come here, come closer. I'll get a little bit more of this ear hair out. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Does that bother you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, hold on, let me see. It's not a big deal if he doesn't want, you know. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I like to hold him up and kind of let most of that fluid go down and then he will shake his head out now too. Okay, ready? I'm going to take this off. Okay, 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 hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on.
All right, we're good to go. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate you guys. If you liked the video, it taught you anything, put the thumbs up. We'll see you at myfavoritegroomer.com where you can pick up everything I've been using for this beer cleaning.